Hey, what's up guys? It's Scrawny3 here, back with another Grand Theft Auto Online video. And in this video, I just wanted to show how to get inside the Pacific Standard Bank Vault in Grand Theft Auto Online. So in the past, I showed a method on how to get inside the vault too, but with patches and just updates, sometimes it's good to refresh a method and just show again what an easy way to get inside is. So in the first place you want to head to the bank as you can see here I'm already inside and ran up the stairs there. I'm just heading to the back offices here now but in case you forget it's located right here on the map in downtown Vinewood right in the corner here and again once you enter you just want to run to the back stairs and run up on the bridge here into the back offices and we're just working our way around to the vault which is kind of blocked off by this door already because you can't enter this door either but this is the door we're interested in most because this will lead down to the vault and as you can see I kind of can't run past this door too but in the first place too I don't know if you guys have checked out back here yet but it's actually a pretty cool office area itself to explore if you haven't gotten a chance yet, but this whole location is part of that uh, Pacific Standard bank heist in Grand Theft Auto Online 2. So it's already a pretty cool area, but I think you can also explore it in the campaign story mode too. But anyway, now that we're back here at the vault, we'll just want to walk up to this door and kind of get as close to it as we can. As you can see, I'm just kind of pressed against it. And at this point, we're just going to basically want to make sure that we have a job ready. So one thing I like to do is just call a contact and request a job. So in this case, I'll just call Gerald and see if he has any work. What's going on? Yeah, there's always some shit going on. All right. Send you something. So we just requested a job from him. In the meantime, if we're in a online lobby, we we'll want to make sure that there's some kind of um, event going on. And in this case, I'm in an invite-only session, so there's nothing going on but you can see Gerald just sent a mission right there. So because there's no work going on, I'll have to be part of an organization with work going on to make a lobby event. So in this case, I'll just register as a CEO. And from here, I'll just get uh, some work going. I guess I'll just choose asset recovery here. It doesn't particularly matter which job it is, as long as there's something going on. And from here we're all set, so again just going to be right against this door. Now that I have the mission ready, I'll select it from Gerald, enter in the mission, and right when I am in the startup screen I'll just quit out. And it can take a couple methods or a couple tries as you can see, didn't work on my first shot but we'll give it another go. Same difference, I'll just keep on trying to join and quit the job. Give it a few tries here. Can take a little patience. All right, there you go. So on our probably fourth or fifth try, maybe. We made it through the door here. I also find that sometimes it depends on what kind of job you do. Like if you select a stunt race for example or a different kind of job aside from the contact mission, sometimes you can have more success. But either way we're in the vault here now as you can see. Kind of a cool area to check out as well since it's actually inaccessible by normal means. Yeah, little we'll office area here, water bubbler, a statue or bust. You can see some things in here are destructible too. There we go. And on the back vault door here, you can actually open this as well. In this case, we'll just use any old shotgun, I guess. But if you shoot the edge, you can kind of 
loosen it up a bit. And then you can just kind of finagle your way in. And from here you can kind of just see all the safety deposit boxes. But definitely a cool area to explore if you haven't seen it before. And there's a bunch of like destructible elements in here as I was kind of trying to show. Which is fun to mess with as well. But in any case, that's pretty much it. That's the Pacific Standard Bank Vault. And uh, definitely worth checking this one out if you haven't seen it. But anyway, thanks for tuning in and checking this out with me. But until next time, guys, peace.